All right, Loudoun County School District broke their silence today on an issue we talked about, uh, touched on briefly yesterday here on the program, and uh, was a part of the National uh, School Board Association, uh, their claim in terms of their justification for calling on the Biden administration to send in the FBI to schools, they made reference to a father in Virginia uh, who was arrested at a meeting in June. Well, the story has now come out, as I made reference to yesterday, that his daughter was sexually abused, uh, assaulted rather, uh, in a restroom in May before that school board meeting. And he was trying to speak regarding that incident when the superintendent said, we have no reports whatsoever of any type of sexual assaults taking place in our restrooms. And they were defending their gender neutral bathroom policy. Well, now it's coming out. This girl was not the only one. There have been others abused because of these asinine policies that defy logic and reason. Joining me now to talk more about this, Meg Kilgannon, Senior Fellow for Education Studies here at the Family Research Council. Meg, welcome back to the program. Thanks, Tony. All right, so what is the uh, school district admitting to today? Um, they're admitting to doing everything right and nothing wrong, apparently. They're admitting to the, the um, procedures having been followed to the letter of the law in spite of media reports and the parents' claims to the contrary. Um, and th they're doing, I guess, what you'd expect them to do, right? They're, it's been a bad news cycle for them, and so they're going to um, come back with a response. Um, it's, it's hard to know exactly what happened, of course, but um, these are the reports that we have. So the, the, the school is denying that they had any knowledge of this assault. The school board is denying that they had any knowledge of this assault. And the reason they would deny that is because a few weeks after this incident where the father was arrested, um, they passed a policy that absolutely allows male students to have access to female students' spaces. And this this young woman uh, is alleging that she was assaulted in the restroom at her school. Um, so that obviously is germane to the topic of the day, right? And so they want to everybody to understand that they didn't know that there were any assaults in the bathroom at school before they allowed boys into the girls' bathrooms in Loudoun County. But in the June meeting in which um, the father, Scott Smith, was arrested, he was tr actually trying to bring this to the school board's attention. He said that he said he was there to speak to the school board and to, to tell them that there had been an assault in the bathroom and that it, you know, I, I seems like his position would be it's not a good idea to let boys in the girls' bathrooms. I can't speak for him. It's certainly my position that <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um, so he was at that meeting. Um, he was provoked by um, LGBT activists uh, who... I think, knew what he wanted to say. I mean, the school board claims they didn't know about his situation. I, I live in a neighboring county, and I knew what the story was about that situation. It, I find it hard to believe that nobody on the school board ha had, a, had an, uh, an inkling of what had happened in this situation. Um, but I suppose it's possible. They say in the statement that the board had not been notified. And, you know, perhaps it's true that no memo from the school went to the board to officially notify them. But I find it very hard to believe that no sitting member of that school board had any idea that a sexual assault had occurred in a bathroom in the well, school system. I mean, they should be taking action against the superintendent and others for not letting them know that that had uh, occurred. Now, last night there was a meeting of the, uh, the Loudoun County School Board. About 60, uh, according to reports, about 60 outraged parents and students showed up and confronted the school board over this situation. And uh, there were statements made that uh, at least two other young women were recent victims of sexual assaults in the high school uh, restrooms uh, in the same manner. Right. Um, this, the sad fact is that um, 
child on child sexual violence is a is a fast increasing category of crime in this country and it's it's fueled largely by pornography viewed by children at very young ages because of their access to devices um, and so the, when when you have the situation going on in upper school bathrooms right um, high school bathrooms um, th this it, th don't think that it's only there right this is also happening um, to some degree on the playground and I don't mean to be alarmist about this topic right most schools are safe environments for children but these things do happen on campus and when they do the default should be total transparency with the parents of the perpetrator and the victim and transparency with the larger community to the degree that that can happen while protecting the, the rights of the accused because everyone is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Um, the policies like this 840 policy that was rushed through in Loudoun County right. only facilitates, it, doesn't, it Absolutely. doesn't stop, it facilitates this type of sexual assault, this sexual abuse. It, it makes it possible for, for predators to gain access to spaces where women are vulnerable, I mean, why regardless are of the this? clothing that they're wearing. <laughs> it's just, I mean, why, why, why are we even doing this? I, I, it's to satisfy the agenda of activists on the left. That's, that's it. That's it. Meg, thanks so much for, uh, for joining us. Thank you, Tony.